So the goal in this video is to help you determine if given sides could form a triangle. And you might think, well, any three sides could form a triangle because a triangle has three sides. And in some ways you'd be right. So for example, if I don't give measurements but I just draw three sides that are like this long and this long, you can see that's not a triangle because this side here and this side here, they're not long enough to connect. But if I took uh, another side that's about the same length as this one here, so I take that and I draw it right here, roughly, you could still get a triangle out of the shape. So really what this learning goal is, and I think there's a, you know, there's a standard in the Common Core that deals with this skill, um, the idea is using the entire side, so could the length of this entire side here, from here to here, be used to form a triangle with the length of this entire side and this entire side? And the answer to that question in this case would be no, although if you were to rearrange the uh, sides and you, if you didn't care if a uh, part of the side of the triangle had you know, like an extra thing sticking off, you could still make an argument, well, it looks like there's a triangle in this overall shape, but uh, they're kind of nitpicky and they I guess the true definition of a triangle, you know, it, it would just be this part right here. And so this uh, this part would have to be discounted. So knowing what's meant now, let's see if we can do that. Okay, so what if we're given a side of five centimeters, six centimeters, 12 centimeters? The question is, could these sides form a triangle with, you know, none uh, side having anything extra sticking out? So I'm just gonna draw the 12, the longest one on the bottom here. It's gonna help me, I think, get it right. So I'll have to count carefully. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. That's about 12, I think. And you might be noticing right away, no matter how flat I lay these sides, I'll draw one here that's 5. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and one here that's 6. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. There's still always going to be a gap. Now, this software is kind of difficult for me to... Uh, Pull, take that line and, and rotate it. But if I was to try to recreate this one here that's 5, so I'll label that 5, this was my 6 and this was my 12. If I was to try to redraw that here in white, it would probably extend if I was going really flat, as, almost as flat as I could, it would probably stop like right about there because it wouldn't be able to stretch quite as far because it's going at an angle. And this one would probably go to maybe right about there. But even if they were laid completely flat, like the one, the red ones I have here that I'm coloring over in white now, even if they were laid completely flat, they still wouldn't be able to connect. So in this particular case, these three sides would not be able to form a triangle. And you might have already kind of figured out what, what we need to be able to form a triangle. Let's look at one more, though, before we, uh, before we kind of like, I guess, extrapolate all the way to the answer. So what do we really need then to form a triangle? Well, uh, if... I'll put the longest side on the bottom here again. Let me just call this 12 again, 12 centimeters. And if you were to have a side of five and a side of seven, you think, so, so some people might be tempted to think, well, that would work because, let me make this just a little bit bigger. That would work because five plus seven equals 12, so they should be able to touch. But you have to remember that because we have an angle here, other than zero, in other words, they're not completely laid down flat, they're not gonna cover the same horizontal distance. So take the five, for example, if I was to lay this five down, if I was to uh, lay it down, right now it covers to right about here, right? If I was to lay it all the way flat, it would probably cover to something like, maybe a little bit further, like right about there. Same with the seven. Right now it's covering right about there, and if I was to lay it down, it'd probably cover really, well, it'd have to go to right about there because uh, five plus seven is 12. And they're not completely drawn to scale here. They're a little bit off, so maybe that one needs to be a little bit longer to make it work. Let's see with this one. But they wouldn't really touch until they were laid flat. That's the idea. And if you lay something flat, it's not a triangle. It's just a line over, two line segments over a line, right? So you need your two small sides to sum or to add up to something greater than your longest side. So if we were given these sides of five, seven, and 12, we would say no. That's that's not possible to form a right or to form a triangle because five plus seven is equal to twelve, and we know they can't. The sum of uh, five and seven, if it was less than the longest side, it definitely wouldn't work. So what we really need to say is that our two shortest sides, which we can use a and b for, have to be the sum of those things has to be greater than the longest side. So let's look at one like that. So in uh, this particular example, we can use twelve centimeters again. So if we have twelve centimeters. We would need some sides that would add up to something larger than 12. So we could do a 7 and an 8, 
there's really an infinite number of possibilities. So a seven and an eight, and I'll just kind of rough hand this, that might be seven centimeters relative to the 12. This might be eight centimeters relative to the 12. In reality, they, the, this uh, vertex here might be a little bit lower because those sides might be a little smaller in comparison to the 12 because it's not to scale. But because seven plus eight is greater than 12, uh, that's 15 is greater than 12, I know this is a possible triangle. These sides could make a triangle. 